Get ready for another host at home, Adam's Archives. Hey, Billy Boy, where you been? Just got back from a fishing trip in the Maritimes. You got room for this in the fridge? It's starting to smell. You, no, not really, but you know, I love the Maritimes. You know, clean air, fresh fish, and all those good looking Cape Breton women. Ooh. Yeah, you know, the amazing thing is I can't believe how big you are in the Maritimes. You're bigger than Euchre out there. Well, you know something, Bill? We, we did beat Tommy Hunter in the ratings last season. And, well, <laughs> I wish there's something I could do for those people down east. It's your show, Dan. You can do anything you want to do. Yeah, it is my show. Ground control. Ground control. We've entered the blue zone! Thank you for being out there. This is Test Pattern, the only game show that matters, and a guy that can tinkle the ivories like no one else. Please welcome Bill St. Long. Oh, How you doing, Bill? <laughs> Bill, can't talk to you. Got a busy show today. I'm going to salute the people down the Maritimes. I'm pretty busy right now, right? So all just right. tinkle the ivories the way you do it. Okay. Because this guy, a seafaring catch in anybody's book, please put your hands together for Bill Carroll. <laughs> Let's bring out Dave Clement. Hi, Dave. Hey, man. Apparently, you took a back entrance. Yes, I did. Yes, you did. How are you, Dave? Okay, and yourself? Well, you know, it's Maritimes Day here in Test Pattern, and uh, me being the true son of the islands, Dan Gallagher, what I'd like to do is I'd like you to do me a favor. You know, I'm just bubbling over excitement because eyes the boy what hosts the show, eyes the boy what gives out the toasters, and you be the boy what builds the boat. Can you build a boat for me? I sure celebration can. of Maritimes Day. Give Dave a round of applause. Bill Carroll, who are our first three contestants? Number one, it's Chuck McClellan. Chucky. Right. Whoa, yes. It's also me, Denise Barber. And our returning champion, Paul Goose! Mr. One Question! Mr. One Question! Get in there! Get in there, Mr. One Question! I gotta tell you guys something. It's the second day on the show. Yesterday, how, tell these people and the people at home how many questions you answered yesterday. One. One question, the guy's on the show twice. A generous one. It was a generous one. We got Denise, we got Paul, we got Chuck. Tell you what, let's get things started. Get a brick and start tossing. Here we go, Paul's our champ. Just say no, go on back. Now you guys realize that if you throw the brick and hit switch, you're, you're gonna make that model boat out there and he's gonna come back and take your points. What was the first James Bond movie? Dr. No. Dr. No is right for the first 10 points. Which former drummer for The Who just couldn't say no? Keith Moon couldn't say no, yes. How many no-hitters have been thrown by the Toronto Blue Jays? One. Only one. Yes, Dave Steve. <laughs> Which actor played cocaine kingpin Tony Montana in the movie Scarface? Al Pacino. Al Pacino did, yes. And finally, Robert Mitchum, David Crosby, or Drew Barrymore? Which celebrity didn't discuss their drug problems in a People Magazine? Drew Barrymore. Incorrect. In a People Magazine cover story. Everybody reads for The answer is Robert Mitchum. He's too busy making the order. Denise, grab a brick and toss it to wall. Yeah. Here comes Denise. That's, that's been hit. We've asked yeah. those questions. It's not fair to ask them again. Okay. okay. Instant prize! Denise, get over to the prize bridge! This 
is great, Denise, because you know, I'd love to give away prizes, especially in my fabulous prize fridge, as I duck in and say hello to the people at home. You ever won anything on a game show before? Never. Have you ever been on a game show? An audience. So the answer is no. No. Okay. So I'm going to look in here and get you a lovely prize. Hey, 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 hey. People at home, don't get jealous. Don't start writing letters. You like chocolate? Oh, yeah. Here's a Dan Gallagher chocolate bar. Take a look here. That's real chocolate. Take that back. Chuck, grab a brick and toss it to the wall. Here comes Chuck. Come on, Chuck. Hustle up. Chuck, just take it. Take another one, Chuck. Come on. Pursuit of happiness. You can't win a prize. Come on, get it. Take one more. And if not, I have to. You're out of here. Okay, take it. Terry, I'm taking this. This is the most bricks we've ever had to toss at one game. Gilligan's Island, yes! <laughs> See, this being Maritime Day and Gilligan's Island being an island being a, a maritime thing. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Which ocean were Gilligan and his pals? Uh, yes, yeah, stranded on the Pacific Ocean. They were indeed. <laughs> when the skipper and Gilligan turned in for the evening, who climbed on top? <laughs> Sorry? <Skipper>. No. <laughs> Gilligan did. That's right, Paul. <laughs> If the skipper was choking on a chicken bone, what maneuver should Mary... Heimlich. The Heimlich maneuver, yes, like Marianne, yes. Which Gilligan Island star also appeared in The Rebel Without a Cause? Ginger. Sorry? Ginger. No. Jim Backus. I love when people down and say, oh yeah. <laughs> Grant, Grunt, or Hussein? What was Ginger's last name? Grant. Grant is right, yes. <laughs> Which of the Gilligan's Island cast do you find most attractive? Dr. Howe. Dr. Howe, sure, you can have Dr. Howe. We're going to take a short commercial break. We're back with more test bands. Don't go away. The Boutique Antique Collection from Cardinal Watches, the latest in quartz technology for accuracy and reliable performance. High tech, high fashion from Cardinal. Dave Clements, you're a machine operator. Hey, and Maritime's Dan says here you enjoy scuba diving. And I do. So you are a natural tie-in here. Almost. You know what happens if they hit switch over there, you get to change places and, and, and hopefully win a fabulous prize. But you're doing a good job on this so far. Is it working for you? Yeah, it seems to. So. Seems your hands are stuck there. Right? Be careful with the glue there, Dave. All right, but if you want to stick around five games in a row and this guy over here is close to it, you get a fabulous prize. What will that be, Bill? It's a mystery trip from Breakaway Tours. You'll have a rockin' good time in some exotic destination courtesy of Breakaway Tours. Travel packages designed for leisure demons like you. Oh, yes. You're jumping again on me, Paul. You're changing the rules. I'm not Monty Hall. This ain't Let's Make a Deal. I got the rules, all right? Paul, you got 40 points. Is it 40 points he's got here? Yeah. You answered one question last time. So far, mathematics says you've answered four. Any new, any new hobbies you developed overnight? Yeah. No. No. Okay. And Denise, originally from Indiana. Yes. Are you really? Yes, I am. And you saw our show in, at Purdue University? That's right. Really? That's, yeah. First time and still broadcast there. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And so you're up here uh, visiting or? No, I live up here now. Oh, really? What do you do? Yes. I work at the Toronto Stock Exchange. How's that for you? Yeah. <laughs> do you know John Cougar? Sure. Yeah, yeah, of course. Oh, yeah. And uh, you're on TV. You can say anything. And uh, Chuck McLennan, you're a waiter. I am. That sits here. You're a lazy bum. Uh, so did your parents write that, or was it? No, actually, I said that. You did, okay. So you've got uh, 30 points, you've got 20 points, and Paul, take the brick and toss it. Here we go. This, of course, is our 20-point round. Icebox, get over to the fridge, pal. Get over to the fridge. No, no, you go back to your spot, I'll go to the fridge. Okay. All right? I'll go to the fridge, and I'll look inside my icebox and say, how's it going? And I'll pull in here, and look at this. Because it's maritime day, I'm gonna pull out a fish, all right? I got a little plastic fish here. <laughs> and it's plastic, how do I know that? Because I do. And uh, I should ask you, I got questions about fish and things about fish and stuff. I'm gonna pass it amongst yourselves. <laughs> Who played Wanda in the film A Fish Called Wanda? Jamie Lee Curtis. Jamie Lee Curtis is right, yes! <laughs> 
many cards does each player have at the start of the game? Go fish. Seven. Seven is right, Denise. Yes. Multiple choice. Goldfish, silverfish, or bluefish. Which fish drowns? Silverfish. Silverfish is right. Yes. Give him 20 points. Complete the line. Holy. No. no, no. See the, the category no. fish. And <laughs> Holy fish. <laughs> Holy mackerel. Holy mackerel is the right answer. <laughs> In which Don Knotts movie did he turn into a fish? Mr. Limpet? Yeah, the incredible Mr. Limpet. Woo! Yes, that's right. Denise, take a brick and toss it. See, the category is fish, so I wouldn't look for holy fish. <laughs> so I was in Switzerland. Go ahead, Denise. The Tings Maylander don't so know. Tings Maylander. Tings Maylander don't so know. Thank you very much. Right, is there anybody here from the from the Maritimes? Anybody in the audience from the Maritimes? You're from the Maritimes, Laugh? Like, there you go. For, has anybody been to the Maritimes? You yeah. guys, like they're great. I'm in St. John, New Brunswick, Grand Colombo. It's a great place. The whole Maritimes are a great place. I've even been to Glace Bay, Nova Scotia. Uh -oh. <laughs> We're not holding you off, are we, Dan? No. <laughs> no, but I was reminiscing a bit about my trips to the uh, to the east. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Which Atlantic province is St. John located in? <laughs> Incorrect. <laughs> Brunswick is right, Denise. With an S. She's an American. <laughs> Dildo. <laughs> Come by chance. <laughs> or fur inlet. <laughs> who rang? Who buzzed in? <laughs> Paul, go ahead. Come by chance. Incorrect. Which is not part of Newfoundland? Dildo. No. <laughs> now, there, you got a buzz in answer. Dildo come by chance or Fur Inlet? Which is not part of Newfoundland? Fur Inlet. Fur Inlet's not part of Newfoundland, yes! <laughs> Skinner's Pond, Prince Edward Island is the home of which legendary country singer? Stompin' Tom Connors. Stompin' Tom Connors, yes! In Newfoundland, people eat cod's tongues. True or false? True. True, they do so. Batter, deep fried, the whole thing. <laughs> Another multiple choice. Peppermint knobs. <laughs> Jake's dinner. Or Jake's knobs. <laughs> what wouldn't a Newfoundlander eat? Jigs knobs. Jigs knobs. No, jigs dinners are delicate, and pepper knobs are candies you can only get there. And finally, the Canso Causeway connects Nova Scotia to which island? Yeah. No. You gotta take a ferry over there. It's Cape Breton Island, buddy. Cape Breton Island. Chuck, take a break and toss it. Here comes Chuck. Yeah. Now you know Chuck. We still got switch up there. You can be building that boat over there. I used to buy what's host the show. Take another one. <laughs> Switch! No! Chuck! Chuck, get over there! Get over there, Chuck! And I'll tell you what, Bill Carroll, tell me who's gonna play on the wheel! Yeah, let's meet Dwayne Mutu! Where's Dwayne? Sorry, Dwayne. Dwayne Mutu's gonna be here. Dwayne, nice to see you, This is Dwayne. We're gonna see Dwayne's gonna show up over there, and we'll be right back after this. Let's go, Dwayne. Come on. Dwayne Mutu here, Dwayne. Is, is it Dwayne Mutu? That is Dwayne Mutu. That is absolutely correct. Uh, thank you, Alex. And uh, so you go to York University. That is also correct. <laughs> Have you got any special talents, Dwayne? Well, actually, in the bathtub, I tend to sing occasionally. If I, anyone coming for Dunkashan. Dunkashan. 
darling. <laughs> what is this, skunk? So, oh, this is, I'm just tripping over here. I'm gonna take this back in. And thank you very much, Dwayne. Put yourself in there and put your arms like this so they don't get all, if your fingertips leave your body, it would really be painful. I don't care, but you might care a lot. So go ahead there, D Dave. You got the high score or something? Yep. They just sent you over here, haven't they? Yeah. Give it a spin, see where you work. All right, here it goes. Dwayne's on the board. Dwayne's running. We've got the overhead shot of Dwayne. There we go. He's pretending to run. As he runs around the wheel, round and round he goes, where he snaps. No one knows. Hey, 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 it's time to play Lost at Sea. Come on over here, Dave. Lost at Sea is this one. That's catch of the day, kids. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Oh, that's the first day on the job, you know? Sit over here, will you? Now, how fitting for Maritime's Day, time to find out which famous Maritimer has been lost at sea. Do you want to help me do that? Sure. Okay, before, before you reach in, guess what famous person has been lost at sea for 40 points? A uh, man from Atlantis. No, that's not right. <laughs> okay, now, uh, you dig in and uh, find stuff and then identify it, all right? in the murky waters. Oh. All right, here's a clue for you. A potato and a lobster. Do you know who it is? No. Okay, well, I'll put... Hey, this smells real good, too. I'll put that right there. How's that? You dig in again. Now, for, uh, I guess, 20 points, dig in again, see who we can find. And you've got... Look at this. Look, no, drop something. Drop those. Those are the weights, I think. Look at this. It's a map of Prince Edward Island. Uh, Columbus? <laughs> okay, a lobster, a potato, a map of PEI. Dig in again. It's over here. <laughs> okay, look at this. Two lovely red braids. Do you know who it is? Lost at sea. They went down a tragic accident. Audience, do you know? Anna Green Gables is the answer. Anna Green Gables. Send someone in, Denise. See? The red braid, spin it. Okay. The map of PEI, the red braids, the potato and the lobster. Okay, as it spins around, we play lots of seats. So if you hit that, we gotta go either side. And it's time to play the shell game. Here's how we play the shell game. I think we better play this down here just for the sake of the cameras, okay? okay. Shall we play this here? Will that give you better shots at the camera? Yeah, let's try that. Under one of these plungers, we have prize 30. 30 points, all right? Okay. Now, what's gonna happen is, I'm gonna mix them up and just get them all going around. You're gonna tell me what plunger has the 30 points, okay. all right? So, Mr. Mr. St. Love, if you have some music, let's play this. Around and around you go, just like in the carnival, kind of like a three card mining thing, but not as fast, because after all, we are wearing, using plungers. Which plunger is it? This one. That one? Yes, it is! Give her 30 points on the board! Yes! Come on down here, Paul. 30 points. Okay, Dwayne, you okay, man? I feel good. Okay, here we go. As it spins about, we hit shell game, we hit lots of sea. As it slows down, uh oh, what goes around comes around. Going, going. Come on over here, big guy. Here's how we play this. We have two envelopes. Stand over here. The lights should dim at any moment now. And as the lights dim for a dramatic effect, we, we won't wait for it. It'll just happen. We have envelope X and envelope Y. With the audience's help, you pick an envelope. I ask you the question in the envelope. If you get it right, nothing happens. You go back, keep your points onto a trip or whatever. But however, if you get it wrong, you're up there building that model and Chucky's taking your place. Chuck, you ready? You psyched? You got it. You ready, Paul? X or Y, help my audience, X or Y. He's chosen. He has chosen the letter Y. Thank you very much. Okay, 345, 249, or 399. What did a designer Dick Tracy raincoat go for at Bloomingdale's this past summer? I repeat it, $345, $249, or $399? $399. Bad luck, 345, check, get back there. All right. And we're gonna take a short commercial break and you're gonna take your place over there, lightning round after this. Bo knows 
Test Pattern. Each winner of Test Pattern receives a pair of Nike Air Cross trainers, courtesy of Nike of Canada. Well, Paul, you just finished me at the University of Waterloo, economics. You know, he started out yesterday on the deck, he answered one question, won the grand prize, but as an old maritime expression, what goes round comes around. So there you go, Paul. And if you want to play the game, join us here in Toronto in our studio audience. Bill Carroll, tell them how they can do that at home. All right, Dan, we'd especially like to hear from our maritime friends today, so please write to us at Test Pattern, 489 King Street West, Toronto, Ontario, M5V1L3. Back to you, Dan. Yeah, well, thank you, Bill. <laughs> I'll see you on the Maritimes. Right as soon as you like the show. We got uh, enough time to play the game. We don't ask for 58 seconds on the clock. You're here. Yeah, smack your Maryland. You bring them back down again. And uh, Chuck, you have 60 points. You have 110 points in the center. And big time, 150. Did you answer any questions? Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> You're just here for the good time to show off your orange jacket, aren't you? Okay. Come on. All right, so. I'm going to wait for some time, 58 seconds. If you answer it right, you get 10. If you don't, don't answer it right, you, don't, you get 10 off your score, is what you get. And I'm getting a cue here to hurry up. In five, six, five, four, three, two, one, go! What is the capital of Nova Scotia? No, Halifax. What color are live lobsters? On the end. Green. Green is right. What's a spud? On the end. Potato. A potato. Where are Newfies from? Newfoundland. Newfoundland's right. What country is Newfoundland in? On the end. Canada. Canada. What type of animal is Flipper? A in the dolphin. Middle. A dolphin. Yes, that's right. Who starred in the movie Navy Seals? Charlie Sheen. Charlie Sheen did. I think. How, how does Exxon transport oil across the sea? By a ship. Not very well or tanker. I'll take the both. Yes. Who wrote Handel's Water Music? That'd be Handel. <laughs> What are the initials for Pierce Edward Island? This is a PEI. -E Who sang Caribbean Queen? Uh, Billy Ocean's the answer. What group did Roger Waters perform with? On the end. Pink, Pink Floyd is right. What son of a maritime? Oh, that's it. That's all we got time for. And Dave, you are our winner. Bill, let this game win. Fabulous price, and we got enough time to play the toaster game. Bill, get me somebody to play the toaster game. All right, Dan, let's bring out Donna Longar. Come on, Donna. Nice to meet you, Donna. You're from. Where are you from, Donna? Halifax, North. America, yes. <laughs> Audience, where is she from? <laughs> okay, camera one. I mean, uh, toaster one, two, or three. <laughs> If you uh, flick it up, if there's toast in one, you get to keep the toaster, but there's something in the other ones. Tell me what it is, I'll flick it up for you. Uh, two. Number two? Are you ready? You ready? Whoa, it's a lovely tape of nice. oriental music of some yeah. sort. There you go. That's yours. I'm Dan Gallagher. This is Dave. That's